Hey guys, this is Lucas, and today I want to show you a library for Xcode, or actually Swift, with which you are able to make nice UI elements for your project. And this is inspired by, well, Google's Material Design for Android. You may have heard of that, or just general uh, material design, because Google uses it uh, as well, not just for Android. And this library is, well, public, it's open source, you can use it. And for this, you just need to install Homebrew in your terminal and afterwards Ruby, a programming language. And afterwards, you need to install Cocoa Pods, which is actually what we need to do this. So um, if you want to do that, in the description below, you have the documentation by, um, well, for that you need for this material library. And there is well documented how to install all these things. It will take too long to do this now in, in an own video. So, or uh, sorry, it, it would take too long to make it in this video. So I will uh, I will make another video about that if you really are interested in it. So, um, we're now gonna have a look at Cosmic Minds Material project right here on GitHub. So as you can see here, we have down here a really nice looking documentation that tells us what features are in here, you see you've got material buttons, navigation bar view, you've got site navigation view controllers, everything that you really know from actually Android. You also have these animations and uh, it's really cool. So here are the requirements, iOS 8 and Xcode 7, uh, 2. And here is the installation that you will really need. And under here, uh, here below, you can uh, find a tour. A tour will actually tell you everything that you can do in here and also give you some, well, example code. So as you can see, we've got a text field that is really nice. Here you see, you don't have to do too much, but you still get this nice animation that tells you, uh, well, here you've got the placeholder text and then when you type something in, it uh, appears here and the line that is currently selected is in the color you want it to be. That is one example, but there are so many other things. You also get the material colors. So in Swift, we all know UI color and then you can just say blue color or something and you get a color. And here you have all these colors and then you have accents and um, that's pretty useful. Here's site navigation controller, navigation bar view, text field, text view, Material layer, you know that pretty much, I guess. So it's really nice. You also got these pulse views, race buttons, path buttons, court views, which are really interesting for alerts. And all animations are actually included from the start on, meaning you don't have to do too much to make it really nice. So how do we actually get started with this now? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new project in Xcode. Let's do this as an iOS single view of occasion and just call it tutorial for this video. Then let's click next and we're gonna create a folder here pretty much. Tutorial. And there you go. Created. Okay, now that we have this, everything is actually set for us to install this. Now, as I told you, you need some things to actually get started with that. So in a documentation, you can find what you need. And here it says Cocoa Pots and Cathartic, but you actually just need Cocoa Pots or Cathartic. But we're going to use Cocoa Pots, as I actually told you before. So in here, you see what you have to do. But now we're just going to do one simple thing. We're going to open the terminal. Then we're going to say CD to select the folder. Then just get, uh, get here and drag the folder where all your files are in right into the window. And you will select this page. So then uh, sorry, this folder. And then hit enter. To check if it's really the right folder, just type in ls, which is look inside and then you can see all the files are in here and this is really important because now we're gonna say pot and then in it you maybe know that from git git where we also have to say in it so it's initializing everything here and when we hit enter 
it's actually just doing one thing it creates a pod file as you can see here so now when you read you see uncomment this line if you're using Swift use frameworks we're gonna delete this see the exclamation mark here and we all know what that means so let's save it and here you see target tutorial then do and then and so in between here we have to insert the code that actually we will need to well download material as a library and to do this we're simply gonna well copy this code here then we're gonna paste it and afterwards when we have done that let's close it we need to just say still in this folder get uh, get pod install and our nice little cocoa pods will do everything for us which will take a second as you can see here it's working and there you go that was pretty fast and now it actually told you you would have been able to read that in a terminal to not open this anymore not your project but now the workspace you may have seen that in public projects because well it makes more sense to touch this file now and in here you get everything that you really need including your actual project here it is but you also see pots and you won't have to add any libraries anymore because you see they are added already and now some people tell me not to type import but you can say import material it will give us an error but now we get something text field type text field which is not loaded in yet well um, let's hit build it should actually work so always when that doesn't work just build it and then it loads everything in there because you have never loaded it before and this should actually work oh my god MacBook is getting warm sorry for that <laughs> So this actually worked, and you see the error is gone. And now, last text field is I'm um, sorry, text field. Now you see we've got a new type, and now we can create a text field. CG racked of I don't know. Let's just say zero zero with two hundred and height forty. Um, so there you go that's sweet and now we can um, add sorry view dot add sub view and add this text field that we just created as a constant and now when you when we run this we have already added a little um, text field that doesn't show up because we have not <laughs> added anything yet so we can say text field dot um, uh, placeholder and we can say I don't know well it makes sense full name that would be a cool thing then you can say I don't know then you can say text field dot font is Roboto font which comes with this so you also are able to use Roboto now with uh, sorry um, I don't know medium with size and then you can see uh, you can do this here again um, with medium with size um, I don't know 12 you can also specify a color. Um, well, actually, I actually don't know that now. Let's look at it up. So that's actually how you use that. Oh, actually, was here on the side. Text. Where do you have to? Am I blind? I think I'm blind. Text field. Learn more about text field and. Oh, it's actually just text color. 
text color. So here, normally, you would be able to now say UI color, and then you could say black color or something. But now we can say material color, then dot, and here you see everywhere where it says UI color, this is actually a real color, but then if you have something like this, material color at amber, that means there is another way to get this. But here you see all of those are the colors. So we've got the base color, now we've got accents and darken. So let's go for the normal base color now. And now when we run this, we have updated it already. So you see here, well this is probably not what you want, like to have, but um, uh, yeah, so this is actually how it works, and you can do so much more stuff with this, but I don't want to make now a video about how to actually use this, but I just showed you how to get started with Cocoa Pods and how to use Material, or actually how to um, implement Material as a library in your project, which I think is one of the coolest libraries that I, at least as of today, have heard of. So, we're gonna see us in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Goodbye.